Okay, so I'm going to just start off by introducing you to the products here. So what we've got is pre-shave oil, traditional shave cream, aftershave balm and a daily foaming cleanser. I'm going to talk you through the steps now. So we're going to start off with the daily foaming cleanser. I'm going to wet the face down with the badger brush and some warm water and just cleanse the whole face using the daily foaming cleanser. It's a, naturally, it's a natural foaming cleanser. There, it's got no foaming agents in it. After that, I'm going to go into the pre-shave oil. Pre-shave oil gets massaged into the beard area and it's your pre-lubricant. This is kind of an old method that kind of got lost in the way of big products introducing glycerin-based um, shaving gels and stuff like that. So what the pre-shave oil does is it just pre-lubricates the whole face and allows for a really close and comfortable shave. After that, I'm going to get a hot towel, wrap it around the face, and with the pre-shave oil, they work together to soften the beard and open the pores. All right. Then, I'm going to get the badger brush again, some more warm water, uh, traditional shave cream, which is actually a soft lathering cream. I'm going to give a nice lather, get a nice lather going on the face. All right. After that, shave everything off. Then we get a cold towel. Now the cold towel is your natural way of closing the pores, so it's the non-aggressive way of closing the pores. The aggressive way would be alcohol. So you know the old Home Alone sequence where he's sm smashing the uh, alcohol in his face it's and screams? It's a good, it's a good, good scene. scene, but we're not having that today. No. We don't do that here. Okay. Right? We're going to get the cold towel. Cold towel then goes on after. There's no second hot towel, there's no third hot towel, there's one hot towel. The face is going through enough when it comes to shaving, so we're just going to do one hot towel and then get a cold towel just to calm everything down. Once we've done that, take it off, soothing aftershave balm. That goes on and we're going to just put a thin layer onto the beard and massage it around the whole face. Sound good? Perfect. Let's get started. Okay, so now we're just going to warm the face up before we do the daily foaming cleanser. And cleanse the face. You just want rotary movements around the whole face. Once the foaming cleanser runs out of foam, that's how you know to move on to the oil. Now with the oil at home, you only need to use a couple of drops, but we're going to be quite generous with this today. Now my family's Turkish and I learned from the old Turkish barbers in London, there's actually a huge community there and some of the massage techniques I actually took from them. But some of their techniques I left out. I felt they were a bit too harsh. But some of them I found really, really useful and really added to a great service. Right, gonna go get your hot towel. The towel gets folded in a barber kind of way over the face. Left palm to the right, right palm to the left. Hold on to the face for a few seconds. Make sure that beard area is getting all of the heat. But we're covering the whole face because we're treating the area as one. We don't want any heat to escape. While that's on, I'm going to prepare some other things. Cutthroat blade, straight razor, cutthroat, whatever you want to call it. Disposable blade every time. So this is a dirty one, we get rid of that. I go into my little moustache and I get a new razor, fresh blade every time. Not just for hygiene reasons, but every hair that hits this blade, you can see how thin it is. Every hair that hits this blade actually blunts it. So it's actually useless after the first shave. This is where kind of unnecessary cuts and grazes can come, come from. Once we've prepared, we remove the towel. Again, just holding it compressed onto the beard area just for a couple more seconds and then we can dispose of the towel. This is already a soft cream. You can get some hard soaps, you can get some creams that don't even lather but this is actually a soft cream already so what, what I'm not actually going to lather it up in the pot. No need. What you need is a good bit of hot water on the, on the brush. Make sure there's no excess. Dab it in. Then a little bit more hot water on, on the end of the, on the on the tips on the cream, and we are actually going to use the nomad's face as the shaving dish. The bristles of this brush actually help get underneath the beard, allowing the foam to get onto the skin where it needs to be. That's why if there's an excess beard, which this man here doesn't have the problem of. <laughs> will, you will actually have to trim it down first. 
Otherwise, all you're doing is putting foam and oil and heat onto the beard and not onto the skin where it needs to be. The bristles also create a warming effect. So everything we're doing prior, prior to the shave, pre-shave stuff is all about warming the skin up, making sure the pores are hot. Inquiring about any skin conditions the client might have prior, um, whether they're very sensitive or they suffer from any skin conditions, which is something a good barber should be able to spot out before he even starts, is something I usually do with the clients. I always front hand shave. You may see a lot of other barbers back hand shave. That doesn't make the tiniest bit of difference to the actual shave. It's just however you're comfortable working. Now that the shave's done, just use your fingers to go over and feel if the skin can take it against. It's not really against, it's kind of across. Then you do it just to get it a bit closer. Always shave with the green though, never against. Shaving across is kind of your happy medium between the two. So now I have the cold towel and also a date. That's how I treat my customers. You give me a date. Would you like a date? I don't like dates. So the cold towel. Again, same folding technique in a barbery kind of way. Over. Swift. Straight Ooh. onto the skin. <laughs> 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 Basically what you want to do is shock the skin into into the cold. Right, you don't want to warm up to it. If you warm up to it, then the skin is not gonna do what you want it to do. <laughs> I do usually let the clients know if is coming right leave that on for a little while clean up right once the cold towel is done once you've tidied up which only take a few seconds again same as the hot towel take it off and just hold it compressed before you take off maybe use a different part of the towel kind of like the cold side of the pillow your face gets used to it so once we've shaved all smooth we're going to get the aftershave cream soothing balm up through me please we just want a very thin layer on the beard area what we don't want to do is reheat this whole area and open the pores up we've just used a cold towel to close it so to massage and stuff would be to reheat and open the pores and bring on the further kind of susceptible to infection so we don't want to do that Just massage the rest of the face. Concentrating on the temples and then moving on to an eyebrow flick. Back to the temples. All finished. <laughs> Good? Good. Good, man. You don't usually get a slap with the shave, by the way. It's just something special for him.